Hi, it's Hope and welcome to the vlog. This is going to be my reading vlog for November 21st through the 27th. So if you want to see what I am reading throughout the month, keep on watching. Um, so first I'll just quickly update with what I am currently reading as I have a book that was carried over from last week and that is Raven Song by TJ Klune. I'm at about the 50% mark. Um, although I was supposed to have it finished yesterday because it's a buddy read. Um, this week I have no idea what the plan is besides schoolwork and reading. I don't know if I'm going back to work this week or not. I literally like I couldn't tell you what tomorrow's gonna bring. I couldn't tell you what today is gonna bring really. I know that today it's Sunday the 21st and I have to um, help my cousin move more things because she's moving from her old place to her new place. Um, so I have to help her with a few things, and then I have to watch her kid while she organizes more things. And then I also have to edit my vlog. And I think that's it for today. Um, I know I'm going to be starting a new physical read tonight that I was supposed to have finished like two weeks ago, but I didn't. Oops. Um, whatever, but it's a series that I'm continuing. Um, and I'm just exhausted. I literally feel like I can't keep my eyes open. I'm like, can I have a nap already? But the answer is no. Um, but I will probably not update till like towards the end of the day once I'm done with everything. So it is 9 o'clock on Sunday and I'm going to crawl into bed. I am going to be continuing Raven's Song, which I do not remember if I have talked about. So we're just going to assume I have. Um, because I literally do not remember shit. Um, I finished editing the vlog. I'm not starting a physical read, but I'm going to crawl into bed and read more Raven Song. I've already said that. Duh. Um, and I will let you know what happens in the morning. I am sleeping in a little bit in the morning because as of right now, I am on call for work, meaning that they can message me or call me and have me come in. Um, and even if I do go in, it would only be for an hour or two. But they open at 10, so I'm thinking, okay, the earliest they will call me is 10. If I get up at 9.30, if they call me at 10 for some reason, even though they probably, if they did need me, they wouldn't call me until like 11, 11.30, um, because I work at a restaurant, so when they first open at 10, they're not that busy. Um, and it's just currently because of a million different things that they're just not that busy. They don't need me. And I'm honestly like, yes, I need the money. But also, I don't want to leave the house. So, honestly, I'm okay with that. Uh, I just wanted to get that quickly out there and be like, that's the thing. This week, I don't work unless I tell you. And all of that. And I do not know the plan for this next coming week. Again, I've kind of already mentioned that. So, I'm just going to go read and shut up and all of that. So it's um, 1 o'clock on Monday and everything hurts, literally everything hurts, um, but last night I made it to 78% of Ravensong and I'm absolutely loving it. Again, I do still think I like the first one, just a teeny, 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 tiny bit more, um, but like it's still looking to be... Like, the thing is, it's still looking to maybe be a 5 star, but like a low 5 type thing. Um, I'll probably use Cop Out. Like, the characters, I love. The plot, I love. The atmosphere and the setting of the town, I love. Um, but I'm enjoying it. One thing I will say, I don't know, it, I wouldn't say uncomfy. But just like that took me out of a scene. And just made me go, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, so like the main character whose point of view we're following, they are old enough to be my father. Literally. I'm 17, he's 40. So imagine reading like, I, I wouldn't call it smut. But like a spicy scene, like a sex scene involving two people who are old enough to be your parents. That, if anything, had me last night laughing. 
I was like, I just realized that last. That was like, oh fuck. Um, but today the plan is to literally do nothing. I know that I was going to film my December releases tonight. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll film that for, so that I'll have that for Saturday because I already have Wednesday's video filmed. I just realized is because I had four books, that's three, four books that I was excited for, for that were being released in December. One got moved up to the 26th of November here, I think, or this coming Friday. And the other two I've technically already read, which I could include, excuse me computer, which I could include in the video, but that leaves three, and I'm like, that video is going to be so short, I'm just going to skip out on that. So that means I'm only doing one video this week, which is my the end of year to be the end of year tag, um, which is filmed. I just need to edit it, and that will go up Wednesday because, well, it was supposed to go up Saturday. Shit happened. Didn't end up happening. Um, okay, so I don't remember the last time I filmed. Um, I know it was today. I know it was it this morning, maybe. We'll go with that. Um, but the physical book that I started was The Kingsman by Nora Sakovic, and this is the third and final book in the All for the Game series, where in the first book, um, The Foxhole Court, we follow Neil, who ends up on this Exe team for this university, and um, Exe is essentially, it's kind of like lacrosse meets, mm, like lacrosse with like elements of like, hockey a little bit like and it's kind of it's kind of violent um but neil ends up on this university team after accepting a scholarship to play axi and originally he is hesitant um because doing so will bring him to the spotlight and he has been on the run from his father and his father's people for eight years i think eight years um and this has found family um it's sports obviously um there's kind of like dark undertones of like other things and the kingsman is the final book um this uh, is a reread for me as i read this first i read this originally in march of 2021 yes march 2021 um so it's only been it hasn't been that long since i read it and i know this is gonna be a five star i love this um, literally, I love it to the point that I bought alternative dust jackets. I just do not read books without with dust jackets on unless they're library books. But I absolutely love this because this actually has, like, the whole team on it. Yeah, like, this is the whole team on it versus this just has, like, the x jackets. Like, so it's, like, it's little things like that. Um, so, yeah, this is what I'm currently reading. My goal is to get this finished this week as... Um, but yeah, this is the current, like, physical read, and I love this, and I'm gonna try not to spend, like, 20 minutes talking about that book each time, because literally in the last vlog when I was reading The Raven King, which is book two, I, like, literally kept on just being like, I love this book so much, so when I update on it, I will try to just say I made it to page blank, which I made it to page 64 of this. I should probably mention that. But I made it to page 64, and I'll just try to do it where it's like, I got to page blank, I'm loving it, it's still a five star because I know that's what it's going to be because I literally love it. Either this book or book two probably will be on my top ten books of the year because I love it, I love these characters, and I just love, honestly, how fucked up the characters are. And yeah, because like the team is like this kind of like, like, just everybody's kind of fucked up in some own, their own ways, and that's kind of how they came to join the team and I'm just gonna shut up now but it's 7 40 and I am going to crawl into bed and start reading some more of Raven's Song my goal is to finish that tonight um obviously I have 22 percent left so I should be able to do that um so yeah I probably won't update till the morning because well I just won't want to update until then okay so it's three o'clock on Tuesday and Today I've done nothing really. Um, I finished Raven Song and I gave it five stars, um, and I loved it. And the ending, well, technically it wasn't even the epilogue. It was like a thing that like was said, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm very excited to see how it plays out in the remaining two books. That's four of the remaining two books. 
um, which are Heart Song and Brother Song. Heart Song I might be reading in December and then probably Brother Song in, G in January. But I also went and got my new glasses. These are my old glasses, so I'm going to do like a cool transition and then also talk about a book I just picked up from the library. So here are the before of the glasses. You're going to notice very little difference. Um, but here's the before. And here is the after. Again, you probably won't see anything that different. It's this just, I think these frames are a little bit lighter. And I also grabbed, this is a little sneak peek into my um, December TBR, which I will either be filming tonight or tomorrow. Um, and that is Wilder Lore by Amanda Foodie. Um, this is a middle grade fantasy. And I'm going to be reading this in um, November for the um, Seasonathon Merry Book Miss. It's the 12 Tropes of Book Miss thing. Um, so yeah, Amanda Foodie is like, I want to say she's one of my favorite authors because I absolutely loved um, the Shadow Game series by her. I'm pointing over there because I have the books on the bookshelf there. I absolutely love the Shadow Game, the Shadow Game series. Like it is one of the, it is I think the, no it it's not I think it is the first true high fantasy ish. Um, like it's the first series that I ever read that was in a world that was not our own. Like everything I read before that was either contemporaries or like. Um, kind of like fantasy but it was in our own realistic world like the Mortal Instruments series, um, Carry On, Delirium, like those are the books that I kind of read before that. Um, and then I guess The Infernal Devices but that's still in our own world just historical but this was like like the Shadow Game series was like the first series that I read that took place in an entirely different world that was not of our own and it was the whole thing and I just love that and so I'm really hoping I love this because it's a middle grade fantasy which I haven't read. It's a middle grade like kind of like high fantasy again set in a world that's not our own and I've never read that. The only middle grades I've really read are like um, A Wrinkle in Time, um, the two Cassidy Blake books. King and the Dragonflies. I think that's it. There's maybe one or two others, but this one I'm very excited for. Like literally, yeah. But again, it's a book that I, it's a book that I didn't want to buy because I knew I'd read it once and probably never read it again. And also now is the perfect time to read it because book two comes out in is it February? I feel like I should know this. February, either February or March, but February sounds right. Um, so currently, right now, it is again 3 o'clock, I am going to be doing some schoolwork, um, and then reading, there's, I'm currently reading, reading, currently watching Lisa Does Life, like, she's doing sprints, um, I'm currently watching those, like, I just got home, so I'm starting to watch those, um, and then later there's somebody else that will be doing sprints at 5 that I'm going to jump on. Yeah, last night, this is this is how my brain works, is, okay, randomly search reading sprints. Click read, some somebody's random reading sprints, like I had never heard of this channel before. Sees multiple people I like recognize in the chat. And then the person's like, hey, we have a Discord if you wanna join, and like all of that, and they seem like a very nice person. And I was like, okay, I'll subscribe and join your Discord. That's how it works. That is how it works. That's how my brain works because I want more bookish people in my life type thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to shut up now. So I made it to page 159 of The King's Men and I'm really enjoying it still. That's all I have to say. I do plan on starting. I will talk about the book that I'm going to start tonight because I'm probably not going to update the vlog until tomorrow is Secret Court by Angelina J. Stepford and essentially Secret Court is the fifth book Yes, the fifth book in the Shattered Kingdom series, which is essentially like a um, epic and high fantasy where we follow Gandrit, who um, she was raised in this desert for about ten years, and then she is sent to go out on this mission to save this person's son, um, 
and then it's revealed that she has these powers and that's kind of all I can say and the fifth book is way different than even what I described. There's a fate, there's royalty, there's dragons, there's prophecies, there's um what else is there? There's so many different things. It's such a good series. Um, the only series that I can think of to like equivalent to is kind of Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas in the aspect of we follow a large cast of characters. There's so much like going on in that fact and there's some similar vibes in there. I actually do think that the author herself has compared it to Throne of Glass and that is honestly a comparison that I see. And this book, I'm reading an arc. It doesn't come out until the 30th of November so I'm reading it just a little bit beforehand but I'm so excited to start it. Um, because like genuinely like the first two books in the series were on my top 10 books of 2020. Yes, that was last year. 2020 was last year, Jesus Christ. And honestly, maybe book, th I want to say book three could maybe be on my top 10, like low top 10 or an honorable mention or maybe even book five. Who the fuck knows? Um, but I gave all them five stars and I'm really hoping this will be five star. So, yeah. Can somebody shoot me? <laughs> if I sound sick, it's um, because I am. Um, I have a sore throat, a stuffy nose, my ears ache. Um, so, yeah. Because when we were babysitting my cousin last weekend, um, he had like a little bit of like a runny nose and a cough. Um, and like obviously because he's two he's gonna be all over you cuddling snuggling especially when he's not feeling that well and coughing in your face and all that and obviously we are constantly like trying to teach him like cough into your elbow if you if you if you like have a runny nose come tell us and we'll wipe your nose and we'll get the boogies out of your nose but he's two he doesn't really understand that so I caught the cold from him and we know it's not COVID because he got tested for COVID I think it was Monday my cousin said um, and it came back negative and he had already been sick for multiple days at that point so if it was COVID it would have showed up as positive and then also my uncle um, who's my cut who's my cousin my uncle who's my little like my little two-year-old cousin's grandpa so technically the little cousin my second cousin but we just call him cousin um but my uncle got tested as well and his came back negative and he's having the exact same symptoms i am of like the cough the stuffy nose the ears so it's 100 percent just a cold so yeah that's kind of where we are today for secret court i read the first let me check i think it was the first 14 percent of it um i'm just quickly opening the kindle app on my phone yeah, 14%. <laughs> I have 4 hours and 20 minutes left according to Kindle. <laughs> um, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, again, it's this high fantasy world, and I've honestly almost forgotten of, like how many different characters we follow. Because we follow um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different characters, I think. Um, but two of those characters are in the same setting and they're kind of back and forth like they're, they're, the, they're in the same setting so like but they're two different point of views obviously and then we have the other ones and like so far we haven't seen two of the point of views right we haven't seen two of the point of views yeah we haven't seen two of the point of views um yet but something was just revealed um and i like had to stop there and i was like i'm sorry hmm, what I, I gotta go i gotta go um and like so it's really good and I'm really enjoying it like I suspected and my throat hurts so I'm gonna stop filming and I'm gonna like I don't know what I'm gonna do I just yeah I'm just gonna like shut up now okay so the camera quality is a little different on this because I am on my phone because pretty much as I hit like as I finished talking my camera battery died um, and I wanted to update the vlog so I read up to page 265 of the king's men and i'm absolutely loving it no shock here whoop d um and then i filmed my tbr video which i 
am iffy with because like it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to in the fact that I kept on messing up on my words and like things just weren't coming out the way I wanted to say it but I blame that my throat is literally killing me um, and so it is seven o'clock I'm going to crawl into bed and read some secret court I'm also probably gonna take some medicine so I probably will zonk out later um, I know that the main reason I got so much of this stuff that of this book done was because I was on Ashley from Ashley Media's Addiction Sprints. I was like watching that and oh my god I didn't I've laughed so hard like I haven't laughed so hard in forever like that sprint literally had me almost like pissing my pants in laughter um you want to go back it would be your most recent sprints like about two hours in and it like yeah it was like intense it was like fucking hilarious um, so yeah, I will let you know how everything goes in the morning and how far I get in a secret court because I'd love to get a good chunk of it done because there's a book that I'm dying to read that comes out on Friday and I'm hoping to be able to read it on Friday. So yeah. Okay, so we're back to the normal camera because of last night dying and I also deleted the footage from last night of filming my TBR because Looking back on it, I didn't put any effort into it, and I just kind of filmed for the sake of filming. Looking back, there were so many things that I said that I could have said better, and also, like, it's unlike this video goes up today and I don't have the time to film. I do have the time to film it again. Um, so I probably will do that later tonight, even though I hate filming when both my parents are home. But, like, what you gonna do, really? Like, I have to film it. Uh, mainly because, like, again, I just kind of, like, messed up on a few things. Like, for example, I forgot a character's name, and then I said the wrong name when referring to a book. Um, I struggled describing a couple books. And then also, literally, I think my raw footage was, like, 36 minutes. And I'm like, no, there's no way I'm getting that down to 25 minutes, so I'm going to, like, refilm it, try to go through things a little quicker, um and all of that but last night you know how I said I wanted to get a good chunk into um, Secret Court I read up to 25% and then I just started feeling awful like I could barely like I could I couldn't comprehend what I was reading so I didn't read which I'm perfectly fine with that does just mean that I probably won't finish Secret Court until release date because I'm going to probably take a break and read um, Liars by Dana Isley tomorrow because that book I've been waiting for for months um, and it's like a, I like need to read it as soon as it comes out because I absolutely love the characters and the world and I'm so excited to see more of them um, because it's like a dark mafia shit and I'm like that's exactly what I want right now I just want something quick and all of that. Um, so that's what will be starting tomorrow, I guess, because that comes out tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I need to say. Um, I'm sicker than a damn dog still. I got a new, um, whatchamacallit, I got a new humidifier, which I think you'll be able to see right there. It's teeny tiny and it changes colors. You don't How to tell that I'm getting to be an adult is when I got that humidifier I saw I, I want I saw it and I was like oh my god it's so cute and then it's color changing and I'm like that's worth the $35 we spent the fuck also apparently my mom bought my Christmas present already and I'm like hmm what is it because it's I sent like a her like a wish list this morning of like here are like I think it was like 11 books that I want for Christmas I know I'm not getting all 11 I'm probably only gonna get one or two because like financially that's all we can afford really um, and I'm very curious on which ones that she got me, and I'm like, mmm, Christmas, I'm very excited for that. Okay, so I didn't end up filming anything or editing anything. I kind of, like, hit a wall of exhaustion, and I'm currently in that wall of exhaustion. But I did manage to read up to page 291 of The Kingsmen, and I, again, I'm enjoying it. Like, that's literally all I can, can say. I am enjoying it so much. Um, so, yeah. Um, but it is 6 o'clock and I'm exhausted because I had so much trouble sleeping last night. I'm probably going to, like, start my night routine now. Um, and, like, all of that because I'm, again, just exhausted. And, like, all of that. I just also kind of don't want to do anything. I will probably try to, like, film 
refill my TBR in the morning or something, um, or something like that. Again, I don't, I'm not uploading it until the 1st of December anyways, just, I'm still feeling awful with this flu bug thing. I'm taking medicine, I have humidifier on, um, I'm doing everything I can, but it's just not helping. I'm really hoping that tonight I actually can sleep a whole night instead of waking up like five to ten times in the night. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, that like five to ten is not an exaggeration. Like, at least five times I woke up last night. If not more, that I just don't remember. Like, I'm exhausted. I'm ex I say I'm exhausted, but then I'm probably not going to go to bed for a while because I just probably won't be able to. I might try to read more of Secret Court, but I'm not going to say, like, if I don't read any, that's uh, that's 100% fine. And then if I do read something, then it's also fine. I might just kind of relax. My eyes are also just, like, slowly closing, and I'm like, I might read a chapter or two. Um, like, that's what I did with The Kingsman. I was like, I'm going to read one chapter. I don't care how many pages it is. One chapter, and then... Yeah, these also have pretty long chapters, so like, like 20, ah, uh, nose is running, like 20 plus pages long chapters, so I ended up reading like 25, 25 pages of it, and that's honestly, I'm good with that. I'm sick, I have to tell myself that everything's okay, if it's, it's okay for, if it's okay for me not to read or anything, um, so, yeah. So I finally actually filmed my TBR. Um, so that's a good thing. I finally filmed it. I'm happy with it. Although I felt like I had to sneeze about a million times over. So in the video there's going to be me going, hold on, I have to sneeze. Cut to me not sneezing. Um, because of course I had to sneeze and then as soon as I said it was like, nah. Um, but I made it to, oh my god, I can't remember what percent of, um, Secret Court. Was it 46? 42 close 42 percent of secret court and i'm really enjoying it um i will say though is i almost feel like there's too many point of views and but not but i love all the point of views so therefore i feel like i can't say that um and then also i just like one thing is i'm realizing is that there are things from the fourth book that i can't remember that much like don't get me wrong i'm still able to process everything that i'm reading in this book but from the fourth book, kind of the third and fourth book are a blur. I do still think book two might be my favorite. Um, and this one, I think it's also just because I'm reading it in time. Like, I'm reading, like, two or three chapters here or there. Versus the first two books, which are over 500 pages I binge read in one sitting. Like, each book in one sitting. Um, but I am really enjoying it. I do still think it's going to, even with all my all my complaining, I do still think it's going to be a five star because I love the world. I love the characters. I just can't remember what happens to the characters. Like, for example, there was two characters that had a kiss, but I'm sitting there like, I can't remember if it's their first kiss or not. I can't remember, like, their dynamic. I, I remember their dynamic, but I can't remember the specific details that they went through. But I still love them, and it's that type of thing where it's like, I can't remember the details, but I have the broader range of the characters and their plot, so I still love them. And it's like, it's almost confusing in my head, because I'm like, I don't remember exactly what happened to you, to you, but I know I love you as a character, I love what happened to you, and I just want to give you a hug and jump into the world and be your friend. And I have to sneeze again. False alarm. Um, so yeah, I know that today I'm doing a little bit of schoolwork. I actually have my schoolwork somewhere, my bed's on my bed right there. Um, I need to do some of that. I know Hugo from Scientist Reading World is doing, um, some sprints at 3, and it's currently 2.20, so I'll probably do a little bit of that, and then finish that off in the sprint, and then read, um... The King's Men, because I am wanting to finish it, and I have a little over, I think I have 130-ish pages, give or take, um, like 120, 130-ish pages, but I'd love to get that finished tonight, if not for sure tomorrow, like for sure tomorrow, fingers crossed, um, so yeah, and then I'll talk a little bit more about the ebook that I'm starting later and all of that, so yeah. Okay, so I know that yesterday I 
don't remember when the last time I filmed was. It was after I filmed my vlog. Not my vlog, my video, correct? Yes, yeah, so it was like 2 o'clock. Um, so I read two page... I know I'm in the middle of a chapter. 368 of The Kingsmen. Um, I started reading it during some sprints. Um, I mentioned Hugo from Scientist Reading World. As well as... Um, once that was over, I joined um, Christine from the other Christine that reads um, channel because sprints and then um, everybody on the sprints ended up, we read for two sprints and then we ended up, put it this way, the sprints were three and a half hours long. In those sprints, we read for 40 minutes and spent the rest talking about so many different things. Um, so many different things and then also um, somebody announced somebody else's possible future baby name for if they have kids in the future and I'm like this is why you don't put people on lives <laughs> um, but that was a lot of fun um, I ended up starting Liars by Dana Isley and and um, I mentioned it a little bit but I didn't explain what it was about or anything like that but I made it to 59% of the book because it is only 208 pages I think um, it's very short um, but essentially, Liars is the sequel to Scars, and in Scars, essentially we follow Scarlet, who ends up getting essentially kidnapped by the um, by these people that are called the Triad, um, and that consists of Sebastian, Elliot, and Tristan, and they essentially kidnap her in, in attempts to almost exchange her for money from like her family because she ran away from her family when she was 18. Now it's about three years later. Is it three or four years later? something like that um, but instead of trading her for like things they keep her um, and it's a dark again kind of mafia ish thing because technically in real world the triad is a is the something like the mafia equivalent in Europe I think I don't remember exactly something like that um, and it is very dark like literally we have <laughs> people killing other people, um, kidnapping, obviously, there is dark content, both in, obviously, the death aspect and then also in the smut aspect, it gets a little dark, um, and it's just really good, it's, like, exactly what I needed right now, and this book originally wasn't supposed to come out until two weeks from now, but Dana decided to release it early, um, and I'm very happy about that, because I'm reading it and I'm loving it. Um, and then I didn't read anything of Secret Court because, well, I was too busy with Liars because, like, I love that book so far. It's going to be, like, a four-star. Um, Liars is going to be, like, a four-star because it's, like, as much as I love it, I feel like there could be a little bit more, but I still love it, so, like, I'll look over at it. Um, so, yeah, I know currently it is almost 3 o'clock and we are babysitting my little cousin. Again, I start the vlog off babysitting my little cousin. I end the vlog babysitting my little cousin because that's literally what we do on the weekends. Um... So I'm currently, he's currently taking a nap. I'm currently trying to do a little bit of stuff. Like, um, I've exported all of the footage for my vlog besides today footage. Huh? English? I've exported all my vlog footage, um, for Monday's vlog besides what I'm filming now, obviously. I'm going to add those clips to the editor, see how long this vlog is. Um, so I essentially know how long it's going to take me to edit tomorrow. Um, and then I also will probably... I've exported the footage from yesterday's TBR video. I'll probably also chuck that in my editor and, like, save it so that I have it in my editor so that come, like, Monday, Tuesday when I edit it, I'll just be able to, like, edit it and not have to, you know what I'm saying? Um, I know that tonight I will be finishing The King's Men for sure. Like, I don't care. I'll also be finishing Liars tonight. I don't know what else is happening today. I think that's literally it. Okay, so it's almost 9 o'clock and my cousin left around 7. Um, and since then, for so the last two hours, I've been watching Pris from Prince Sprints. She's doing like 24 hour live sprints. And we're on the last like 10 hours or so and I decided to jump in. Um, and I managed to finish The King's Men by Nora Sekovic. I absolutely love this book. Five. Five stars, like I said. I'm, I'm so sad to be leaving these characters behind to the point that I have like... Can I find fanfic of this? I know that there's some good-ass fanfic somewhere out there of this, so, um... 
I might be searching for that because um, I just love these characters so much. Like with every ounce of my being, like I just I need fanfic. I don't care what kind of fanfic. I just need fanfic. Um, I genuinely almost forgot how much I love these characters and like. The way that the ending is so open, oh my gosh, actually there's something that happened that it happened and then I like had to go back up the page and I was like, wait, that happened at the end of the book? I'm sorry, what? Um, so yeah, like that shows that I can forget things in books in like less than a year of reading them. Um, so yeah, I also might do an entire talking about the series on my channel because I love it so much that I feel like I might. That's not sure um, I'd need to like write out some notes and see if there's enough points that I want to talk about in this um, although I probably could find it and I absolutely just I love this dust jacket I literally spent before film before like starting to film I just spent a good like five minutes just like staring at the cover and just being like oh my god like all these little de like little details and like those kind of things of like I'm doing it again. <laughs> Me, I'm like I'm doing it again. I'm staring at it. I love this. 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 Um, but back to the sprints. The sprints had me laughing my ass off because we ended up getting into a um, not uh, PG-13 talk um, and like causing somebody to end up behind. A pillow being like I don't want to be here right now um so yeah um and I think that's all I really want to say but I'm going to go finish Liars and if you want to know my final thoughts about that book um you'll have to check out my next vlog which I'm actually debating filming on my phone that vlog or at least like bits and pieces going back between my vlog and my camera um, but that's a whole thing for me to figure out before tomorrow, but I really hope you enjoyed this video, and bye!